hello welcome to oracle of the future i am the oracle of the world here on my channel you will find out about the truth i decode the truth i spread the truth i share the truth okay what i share is my prediction videos of what's to come in our future whether it's whether it's worldly events whether it's celebrities predictions or anything that you guys need to know when it comes to calamity destruction or blessings that's meant to come you will find it here on my channel i also decode here um, I decode God message, messages, um, hidden messages in general, but God messages, that's what we do. We decode here, and I do insightful messages of the zodiac signs. I focus on astrology, um, particularly Vedic, okay? So now that I gave that little intro, I'm going to decode Little Red Riding Hood, the pig, and the wolf, because that's been popping up in my insightful messages readings for the zodiac signs so i feel like there's something there uh i did the three little pigs before so if you guys want to go check that out go check out that video it's on my playlist on my channel for childhood tv shows or something like that it's titled with childhood okay so go check that out because it's very informational and it may resonate with you okay so I also, um, this video uh, intention is not just me decoding the Red Riding Hood, the pig and the wolf, but there's someone, or there's, it's, it's like it represents something. Little Red Riding Hood represents, you know, people, and the pig represents people, and the wolf, okay? It, it all connects to something, okay? Alright, so let's get started. Little Red Riding Hood is a, um person that's been protected all their life okay little red riding hood is someone who's been naive been kept hidden kept trapped even um it reminded me of rapunzel um the, the character tangle like someone who's been they live like up in the tower they live like up somewhere or they live somewhere where they were always cared for or um, some type of guardian or take um caretaker that watch over them but they wasn't allowed to do certain things it was always limited to them okay so this is someone who's been kept hidden for a reason and they had an upbringing like that for a reason because this is not someone who had this is not someone who is normal this is not someone who is um meant to be amongst society okay of them being them okay so that's why they had an upbringing like that however i'm getting this little red writing character or person is someone who's been raised not by their own kind um not by their own um, nature they haven't been raised of who they are or what they are okay if that makes sense like think of like cinderella okay she was always a princess always meant to be a princess but she was raised to be um a commoner or so someone who was not just a commoner but she was treated like that okay she wasn't poor but she was treated poorly because the people that cared for her was jealous of her or didn't like something of, of her and they felt like they want to keep her hidden because they saw something of her or what she could have become okay so i'm getting something like that someone who's always pushed back backwards or pushed away or always silence always being controlled even or always um kept hidden because this someone is special very very special um not just special but also this could be jealousy this could also be um going back to the reference of like the story of rapunzel um uh, she was kidnapped as a baby um, from her family because of some type of witch that was um, wanted Rapunzel's power like her um, hair like a, a, a brought some type of power like eternal youth or something like that and basically Rapunzel was gifted okay she she could gift something to this witch that kidnapped her so this witch pretended to be her mother and tell her lies as she was growing up or why she couldn't leave her the tower stuff like that so it was just a lot it, it's something like that i'm getting whoever this rapunzel i mean this little red riding hood person um has been told a lot of lies okay their their whole life was a lie 
it's not real um i'm getting like family this person may have been adopted kidnapped or um it's like i'm getting documents are sealed their actual birth is sealed um who they really are is it's kept hidden from them themselves they don't even know who they are um but this person was stolen or kept hidden for a reason until the time was up or until the right time where this, this person was going things was going to be revealed to the uh, something's going to be revealed to this person uh whoever this little red riding hood of like oh you're adopted oh you, you are actually this or you're actually native american you're actually you know you have a family from alaska you have family in D detroit it's like this person's gonna find out things about themselves um that they didn't know or witness um i feel like this person has a lot of family as well like a lot of different uh, i'm getting bloodlines um, but they have a lot of family. This person has a lot of family. This little red riding hood character. Again, this may resonate with you and your story um, for a reason. If you, if you, if you've been drawn to the little red riding hood, th this is the reason. You have an inkling or a feeling that you have been adopted, kidnapped as a child, or um, you feel like something is kept hidden about your birth, your childhood. Um, you may not even know. You may not even have pictures of when you were a child. Like I'm talking about baby, like when you were a baby up to like three years old. You don't have no picture up to when you're like three years old, four years old. There's no picture of you. Okay, that that's documents has been sealed of what you really looked like when you were born. Something about when you were born, you didn't look like how you look now. Um, it's like I don't know that how that. Well, okay, this is getting weird. Um, you didn't look how you look now. It's like your real form or your real looks has been hidden from you. Even you don't know how you truly look. You have a. Um, you don't. I'm getting souls not there a certain race. You think that you're this race, but you're not. You're Native American or Hispanic or something like that. You're not what you think you are. Your race has been hidden for you. Your own race. Like what? What is this? This is some like Winks. This this the show Winks. Was it about fairies or something? I forgot the show name. I mean, what was it about? But I'm getting something like that. Like, what did they say that she was a changeling or something? A changeling stole stole her or something? The main character. Like you could, she could change her form. But uh, yeah, this person was yeah. I'm getting something like that. Little Red Riding Hood is some type of changeling. Um, but not just that. Little Red Riding Hood could sense things. She was she always, it was always clues. There was always something that indicated that there was something different about her, um, unique about her. Like she always had like a sixth sense. Okay, an inner knowing when something's not right. Um, like she always knew certain things. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Um, so that's what I gave for a little bit of writing here. Let's get into the pig. So the pig came up as well in some of the zodiac signs um, messages that I did. So so about the pigs. Um, I said it, there's a lot of childhood stories that involves the pig, such as Charlotte Webb, Three Little Pigs. Um, Three little pigs, Charlotte Webs. I'm, I'm sure there's another one as well, but um, oh, I don't know why I want to say Stuart Lewis, Stuart Little, but there's something about pigs, okay? And how it reference to police as well, like people um, call police people, um, police officers, pigs, but they use it in a derogatory term, like to say that oh, you're a pig, like basically. The, the reason why people would say it is like I don't know how I felt why they did that is because it's like pigs are um, like nasty or corrupt or something but um I'm getting more it's more to it than that there's something about pigs so we're gonna look into that being a pig um, one of the insightful like two of the insightful messages that I did recently with um there was something that was brought up about a twin flame or um some type of love connection and 
and I kept seeing more even after I stopped recording. So um, that's being brought up again. Something about whoever this little Red Riding Hood character, you have a destined um mate or soulmate. Uh, this is someone that you're meant to marry. You're meant to be with. This is someone that can um hold. Uh, how can I explain it? This is the, this person. The reason why this person is your mate. This is the only person that can handle you. Like, because remember I said Little Red Riding Hood is always like, she's always watched over or like raised by someone that's like. They always try to limit her, right? They always try to limit what she is, who she is, even when she gets curious, okay? Because I'm getting that same thing with the Tangle, uh, the Rapunzel, Rapunzel character. It's like when she get curious about certain things, or when she is this, it's, it's, I feel like Little Red Riding Hood, there's more to her than what was actually shown um, or explained. But even with Rapunzel, like, there's more to them. It was like we only saw the surface, there's more to it. But for some reason, that Little Red Riding Hood, Tangle, Rapunzel, they were always curious, okay, of what's out there, what's what's more. And I'm getting that whoever this Little Red Riding Hood character is the same thing. It's like they always is curious to know what's more, what's out there, what's more about them. Uh, but the thing is, this person had, is a lot. They, this person carries a lot of like either energy, power, or gifts that is not meant to be shown in society that they have to be kept away or hidden because if they if they if it's shown they're gonna be the odd one out like everyone's going to know oh there's something more so this person always got to be kept hidden because of how ethereal magical or weird this person is it's like it's more than that it's like this person stands out so they, they always have to be kept hidden um, and cloaked but whoever this red little, little red riding hood they have a soulmate okay this soulmate helps to hone their energy their power uh, when it gets crazy when it gets um because this person has a lot of power but this, this their mate can handle their power okay um their mate i keep saying mate as if they're animal okay uh, there's something about animal reference to this but um yeah their their mate is meant to come to them okay to help hide them okay it, even though if the mate don't even know nothing about little red riding hood character it doesn't matter if they don't know anything they still it's like just just by their energy alone can help okay they they need to connect so that little red riding hood character their their identity is not found out or um that the world don't know about this person but yeah this person has um, a mate that covers like it's like a lot of cloak like she's cloaked again like this person cloaks her hides her but I'm getting that so many of hers might be a, a, a police officer or a, a pig, uh, someone who's like not like an actual pig. I'm talking about like some. <laughs> no, I didn't just say that, child. Um, someone who may be a, a cop. Okay, this person may be a cop, but I also was getting like, you. This person is destined to be a cop. This person is going to be a cop. Okay, this person is going to be a cop. That's how you will know. Um, this person is meant to be a cop. A police officer. Um, I feel like this person is going to help this woman or this girl, the red riding hood character, um, during some type of transition that this person is going to go through. Um, I don't know, I'm getting a police academy. I don't know if you guys are going to go to the police academy or this your mate is in the police academy. Your mate is not a police officer yet. They in they're in the academy. They're in the academy. You're gonna meet your person, whoever this little red riding hood character, um, in a situ a scenario where you least expect it. You won't know. 
even if you're someone who's like curious like little red head tingle rapunzel you will never know um when this will happen because you're very curious i'm getting that you're a very curious person um always want to find out something um i always want to know when 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 <laughs> um but i'm getting that god is doing this on purpose you will never know when it's going to happen when you least expect it you're not even going to be thinking about it um i feel like your mind's going to be focused somewhere else or something else you're going to be extremely focused okay extremely extremely um focus on things okay you 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 think your person is a um a monster or something like that i don't know something about people may view you as one but you're locked in yeah you're gonna be too focused on something else you're not gonna be focused on whatever but um when this happens you'll be completely in a trance of new trust you're just gonna go through something okay and that's gonna be your focus um and however this is when your person is gonna come in your soulmate is um meant to be your provider meant to provide for you um whenever you're lacking this person will provide this person is meant to help you during this time this person knows best. Your person is a police officer. But I'm getting that there's there's something here that I, I was picking up before we get to the... Yeah, we really get to the wolf. Um, I'm getting there's two people or the, there's two sides to this person. Two sides to the coin. Okay, there's two sides. One side is completely an asshole. I mean, this person is an asshole. Like... They're very blunt. Um, this is an asshole. Okay, this person may people may call this person an asshole. This person is blunt as hell. Um, they, they they just say whatever they whatever they feel they say it. They don't question it. They don't care how you feel. They will say it. But this this is a good thing for you apparently. This is going to help you. This person is going to help bring that out of you as well because you're that you're like that as well. Whether you know it or not, you guys are pure like that. Like you guys are both alike. Um, but yeah, this person has two sides to them. One of like asshole, but like then another nature that's gentle. Uh, when it comes to you, you don't notice that this person is um, gentle with you. They they um, kind hearted or like not kind. I feel like they're still like blunt, but like I feel like they tease you, like a very playful matter. Like children, you guys are playful. You guys, I gotta go. But, um. Oh, this person is, um, possessive as well. I don't know how you feel about that. But we're gonna get into the wall. Excuse me, I have to start. Oh, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> I got a full day ahead of me, child. Yeah, you got a long road ahead of you. This is going to be a journey. Yeah, this is a, um, a long journey ahead of you, okay? So about something's going to begin in December. Okay, you may meet this person in the month of December. There's something that you're going to learn in December and something that you're going to pass in December. You have some type of nature to you. Um, like a mother mayhem nature, which is, um, I told you, it's like a top-notch person, uh, so who, who's all together. So let's look at the wolf. Okay, the wolf represents, in every story, every movie, everything about the wolf character is like, they're bad. They're big and bad and bold, okay? We all know that. It's the, Whenever there's a wolf involved, they're always bad, or they're always, like, macho, or, like, um, think they're all that, or, like, controlling, um, bad, like, ill-tempered, like, I feel like this is all your person as well, like, has a temper, a short fuse, 
like strong like they're they're strong they may be a fighter like i feel like this person is like into fighting like ufc wrestling this person may have wrestled some type of wrestling background ufc boxing this person know how to um this person punches is lethal like they punch very bad like they can shatter people's like skull like this one punch they're strong in strength like their muscle they're, they're, they're very strong This person has a piercing, okay, in their ear. This person has a piercing in their ear. Um, what well, this wolf character? Um, tattoos. They're tatted. Look young, but also mature at the same time. This person is tall. I don't know why I'm seeing this, but I'm seeing this person drinks energy drinks. You will notice a difference. Um, whenever it's like a full moon or something like that, this person um, shapeshifts a little bit. Like, they're different. Their energy is different. Their mannerisms is different. Like, they're very, like, alpha. Like, T like why are you tough it's like it's not something that they they're pretending to be that like, this is what they are it's like they're very like they're different you don't notice the difference during a full moon they know how to be polished okay like wear a suit they know how to speak to people it's like this person know how to know how to lead. They are a great leader. Many wolves are le great leaders. I don't know. This person kind of. I don't know why I'm getting emo vibes. But I kind of get a little bit emo. No shade. This person gets along with everybody. Like people look up to this person, basically. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, but wolves are um, natural leaders. Okay, and they could be ill-tempered. Okay, this person do have a temper. Okay, like when they're angry, they're angry. Like, like think of like a bull. Like this person may be a Taurus or um, Aries. I mean, yeah, Aries actually. But this 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 person is bullheaded. Like when they when they're angry, they're angry. You cannot stop this person when they're angry. Like when they're angry, it takes a uh, it takes a lot from this person to calm down. Like I'm thinking like. I'm actually seeing like a, a bull and then you you raving a red in front of the bull and the bull is like trying to catch the red thing. That's what I'm getting. This person may be a Taurus though. No, I think this person is a Taurus. Okay. This person may be a Taurus, child. I'm gonna leave that there. That is the, my decoding um, with Little Red Riding Hood. The pig, I feel like that one is where I'm like stumped at. And I'm gonna come back to it. The pig. Um, the wolves as well. So those two, that's gonna be separate. So those two are very important. There's something there. So I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you.